Hello, welcome fellow traders, AMP Futures here presenting another how-to video. In today's idea, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to create alerts for your watch list. Now we've already done an idea on how to create manual or individual alerts for each symbol, but now the difference is you can create alerts for an entire watch list. So watch list is this particular area on the top right corner of your workspace where you have a variety of different symbols that you might be tracking and you can create different watch lists. So for example, if I hit this little drop down here, I have two different watch lists that are currently created. For example, a &P. if I go to my test watch list, it just basically has three micro products. If I go back to my a &P watch list, you can see I'll have different instruments here as well. So you can create as many lists as you want by simply selecting create new list here, call it whatever you want, and just simply add the symbols within that specific watch list. That might be ideal, for example, if you have a different watch list for a variety of different category groups that you trade. So let's say, for example, you trade indexes, you trade currencies, you trade metals, financials, you can create individual watch lists for those specific category groups or different assets. And that, that might, a little, might, might make it a little easier for you to be organized whenever you're trying to move from one watch list to another. But the great thing about this new feature is you're now going to be able to create alerts for all the symbols within that particular watch list, where before you're creating rules of alerts for individual symbols instead. So to access this new feature, very straightforward. You're going to click on your watch list name on the top here. You're going to Within the context menu, you'll see the option here, create alert on the list. You can see it's a new feature. And it's just pretty much just like creating a regular alert. The only difference is it's going to apply for your entire watch list, but it will trigger the alerts based on the individual symbols within your watch list. So this just basically means that you don't have to go through every single symbol and create alerts one by one. It just makes it a lot more efficient for you to create an alert for the entire watch list. So again, you have settings, you have notifications at the top. Let's go over some of the settings here. This is just going to show you the name of the watch list that you're looking at. So right now we're looking at the AMP watch list. If I go back and select the test watch list here, and if I go back here and select create alert on list, notice now it says test watch list. All right, so you have different conditions that you can set. So for example, condition based on price, and then here are the rules. So let's say, for example, you can set it based on moving up percentage, moving down percentage, crossing, crossing down, et cetera. So it's all preference as far as what type of rules you want to create for the alert. Just be sure to, to choose a specific rule that you want to apply and just make sure you select it. So let's just say, for example, moving up percentage. And now I can actually set the actual percentage value. And also I can set whether I want the percentage to be for a specific one bar or every certain amount of bars as well. So again, this is all personal preference. The main thing is understanding where to go to access these features. And you can also set time frames as well. So you have five minutes, one hour. Uh, from my understanding, you might have different parameters for different rules of the condition. So right now we're looking at moving up percentage. Let's just say if I change it to crossing up, notice now that some of the values change. There's no percentage value because we're not going off percentage value anymore. So if I go back to moving down percentage or moving up is what we had before, but now we're going to moving down. Now you can see the parameters have changed. So again, keep that in mind that whatever parameter or condition that you're choosing, the parameters may change accordingly depending on the condition that you set. And then pretty much once at that point, you have the ability to select different trigger options, pretty much the same exact concept of a regular alert. When you create one, you have only once once per bar, once per bar close, once per minute. You even have the ability to set expirations for the alert. You can call the alert whatever you want as well. And also notifications give you the ability to, how do you want to be notified when these alerts are being triggered? You can notify in the app, you can show a toast notification, you can send an email to yourself, webhook URLs, play sounds, and send plain text. And this is how you create alerts for your entire watch list using the TradingView platform.